like it or not, you will die someday. While various belief systems offer explanations for the metaphysical experiences that follow, what happens to your physical body after death is all just a matter of science, and, largely, it's not pretty. The news isn't all bad, however. Eventually, you just might end up among the flowers. Around the world, roughly 100 people die every minute. Through simplified cartoons, the video explains what happened starting at the first few seconds after the body dies. The first few hours in the initial seconds after death, oxygen is quickly depleted and brain activity surges. The neurons then cease operations, and the brain stops giving off hormones which regulate the different functions of the body, though some may carry on for a few minutes. The remaining stores of ATP, which provides the energy for life, is used up, and the muscles relax. This includes the sphincters, so there's a strong possibility you will poop or pee yourself. Dead bodies usually have a pale complexion, especially visible in light-skinned people. This is a result of lack of blood flow, and becomes apparent 15 to 20 minutes after death. The heart is no longer pumping and thus blood is not circulating, so gravity drags it down toward the ground, causing blood to pull at the lowest point of the body. After a few hours, the body experiences red and purple discoloration from the settling blood. By 12 hours after death, the body has reached maximum discoloration. This process, known as livor mortis helps coroners and forensic investigators determine the approximate time of death. During this time, another process has also begun. In the three to six hours after death, a phenomenon known as rigor mortis begins to set in. Cellular organelles deteriorate from the lack of energy, and leak calcium into muscle cells, which binds to protein and causes muscles to contract. The muscles become stiff, leaving the body stuck in position for the next 24 to 48 hours. The days following death while these other processes are occurring, the body, if it hasn't been chemically embalmed or otherwise preserved, has slowly been undergoing decomposition the entire time. Cells in the body accumulate without proper blood flow, causing a rise in carbon dioxide gas, and a rise in the pH of tissues. This weakens the cell membrane and they burst spewing cytosol. Cytosol contains proteins and enzymes, which breaks down the surrounding tissue, along with the help of more than 100 trillion microorganisms. Then, the anaerobic bacteria, that which doesn't need oxygen to survive, in the gastrointestinal tract eats through the abdominal organs. This is a smelly process, known as putrefaction, and the foul odors released by the breakdown of amino acids attracts insects including mites carrion beetles, and blowflies. Blowflies then lay eggs in the rotting tissue, which hatch within a day. The larvae, maggots, then eat the tissue until they mature. The first few weeks maggots can consume 60% of the body's tissue in just a few weeks, and the resulting holes release decomposition fluid and gas. Between 20 to 50 days after death, butyric fermentation takes place and attracts beetle larvae, protozoa, and fungi. This is known as dry decay, and can occur over the course of a year. A year and beyond whatever remaining parts of the body are eaten away by plants and animals over the subsequent years, even the skeletal remains. If the body is left entirely at the mercy of the elements, every aspect of the body will be broken down. Then, the molecules are recycled in nature.